Hey guys, um, quick note on spoilers. So this is the first hour or so gameplay of The Last of Us, which is a relatively recent game. So if you plan on playing it or you don't want to know what happens, I suggest you go watch one of our other amazing videos or uh, read a book, watch some TV, make lunch, breakfast, whatever. Play with your cat or dog or chinchilla. Some people have parrots as pets. They're cool people too. Um, the point is, if you don't want the game spoiled, then you probably shouldn't be watching this. So, you know, you're grown-ups. You can make your own decisions. So I'm going to leave that choice with you. And now, here's the video. Nice. So, um, this is uh, The Last of Us. Do you guys know much about the game? Um, I know that I was super interested in playing it, but due to my lack of a PS3, I haven't played it and also have never really seen even a second of it, besides demos. He is the contractor. I am in, I'm in the same position. Well, you can both live vicariously through me. Yay. <laughs> for an hour. For, well, for an hour and 20-something seconds, yeah. And really, that's that's more than enough. We probably shouldn't be talking through the cutscene. Sunday at work, huh? He's still doing up. It's late. Oh, crud, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please, not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. What's this? Your birthday? You kept complaining about your broken watch. So, I uh, figured, you know. You like it? Honey, I mean, this is... It's what? nice, but I... I think it's stuck. It's not... What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage, then. Yeah, you wish. I would give anything to fall asleep that fast. I know, right? <laughs> My baby girl. There's no way she sat through being carried upstairs. Yeah, I just I feel like that's impossible. Yeah. Hello? Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what, what time? I need is to it? talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy, hello. So this is the game you play a uh, an adolescent girl. What was that all about? Right. But you uh, also played two other people, right? No, it's just a girl. It's just a, a girl? It's a, it's a teenage girl simulator. Oh, uh, okay. So, like, get so, up, you know, go to school? Yeah, that kind of thing. All right. Dang it. All right. I forgot to give this to her. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a, a girl in Is Texas. she a teenage girl? She looks like she's 12 or 11. I don't know. I'd say at most she's 13. Yeah. That is a thick card. Wait, did it say that, she like, let Dad, you're never around? Yep. That's a weird birthday card. Happy birthday, you absentee father. Uh, how how much of this has you have you played? I have played exactly what you're watching now. Okay. Phone's dead. Um, do you like it? Yeah, it's um, it's better than I expected in places, and but in some ways it's uh, I wouldn't say disappointing, but you feel very railroaded. Okay. But then, yeah. To Which, be fair, I've only played the first hour, so that's ye- still very much tutorial territory. Yeah, if you're going to be railroaded, the first hour of the game is probably the spot that it's going to happen in. Dad? Yeah. I've been replaying uh, uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, and I'm three and a half hours in and still only in the tutorial area. Wow. 
I'm like just about to get out of that area. Foreshadowing. Dun, dun, dun. 300% increase. Wow, that's that's nearly three times as many. Yeah. Daddy? I heard this game is in the same universe as Uncharted. The same universe? I don't know. It's definitely... Same engine. Same, same engine, yeah. Same people, Naughty Dog. Or a similar yeah. engine. It, this game looks amazing. Yeah, I was really fucking impressed with what they've done with the engine. Uh, what was that? Ignore Man, that. I wish I wish this was a PC game because I want to play it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's it's just for the fact that it looks really good and the voice acting is it's top shelf. They do a really good job of making it like look like this is a place that people live in. Mm. Um, I feel like a lot of games that are more than just uh, like when you go into houses, how, how homes don't feel like homes. This one looks like no, that. The, the, they look more like the kind of things you'd build in The Sims. A kitchen yeah, yeah. needs a refrigerator, so there's a refrigerator. It needs a sink, so there's a sink, and there's nothing. There's no, there's no personality or detritus lying around. It's just right. It is what it is. It's just like at some point, the sim has to stop writing novels for 17 hours in a row so it can eat, and there's got to be a refrigerator somewhere around. <laughs> I'll be honest, right? I am terrible at horror games. They scare the shit out of me. Oh, yeah, me too. I played so I was uh, I was genuinely freaking out a little bit at this point. <laughs> I, um, I played Gone Home yesterday, and... Oh, uh, I, I knew going in that there was no combat, and I was still, like, kind of creeped out the whole time. Okay? Or at least for half of it. Hmm. Does anyone come in here? No. I mean, there are no, there are absolutely no jump scares in this game at all. There are no what? There's no jump scares in this. No. I didn't think there would be. It didn't seem like that kind of game. Yeah. All the, all the horror element comes from the tension and the atmosphere. And it's done really, really well. But even so... I was I was on tense hooks the whole time I was playing it going, someone's gonna fucking jump out and try and eat my face. I know it. Jimmy, I am warning you! Oh no! He you shot him. Sarah. I saw him this morning. Sammy, there is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tell me, come on. Where the hell have you been? You have any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Holy shit. You got blood all over you. It ain't mine. Let's just get out of here. They're saying half the people in the city lost their minds. Can we just please go? Some sort of parasite or something. You gonna tell me what happened? So at this point it says press L1. So I push it. Oh, does it zoom in slightly? <laughs> <laughs> So I was expecting it to focus on some kind of plot element or, you know, point of interest. It was just, nope. It, it, it said it's to push L1? Six foot forward. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing great. Hmm. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. Have you tried it later on? Maybe there is, maybe later on it focuses on plot stuff. Yeah, later on it draws your gun. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, okay. They said they want her to draw, so they just like draw a picture of a gun. I can only assume, yeah. Probably a lot. She's too young for a firearm. Of course, she's she's either 10, 11, 12, or 13. It's far yeah. too young for a gun. Jesus Christ, how did this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. So, like I say, I've only played an hour of this, but I think, um, kind of like in The Walking Dead, it's they don't focus on how or why the apocalypse happened. They're focusing on just that they're about to die every second. Yeah, it's more... It's not a game about the end of the world. It's a game about the world that has ended and the people who are in it. Right. right. That's good. That's kind of the only way to do a zombie thing at this point, I think. Yeah. This whole time, I'm just sat in the back, moving the camera around. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Hey, Joe, so do we. But we have room. Hey, keep hey, driving, stop. Tommy. Stop! Sorry, dudes. Gotta go. <laughs> uh huh. 
just abandoned a family at the side of the road. Hospital, bad place to be when there are zombies. To be fair, at this point they don't know the zombies. Yeah, but they know that there's people losing their minds, and if somebody's sick, then they're going to be at a hospital. Yeah, that's true. I like this, but... No. Oh, dear. Are these... Yep. Are these normal strength zombies, or are these super strength zombies? I think these are just dudes who have gone crazy. Okay. Oh. So, you know. Because I saw... He broke through that... That window. That stuff is really tough. Yeah, but I reckon... I think that's probably realistic, because if you ran at a pane of glass with no concern for your own safety, you're eventually going to smash through it, I think. That's, that might be true. I'm not sure. I've never yeah. tried it. I guess it comes down to was it double glazed on it. Um... No. Yeah. Oh. These guys are not having a good night. No. It is a nice watch, though. It is a really nice watch. I like that watch. <laughs> the face yeah. is a little too big. I like a smaller face. Get back, man. Get back. Yeah. Kick that window. I love that sound effect. <laughs> Sweet brick smash. Yeah, yeah man, your your best buddy's got your back in this. Yeah. Um, from the from the promos I've seen for this game, he's not your best buddy for long. We're gonna need to run. I have watched literally no promos for this game. Come on, hold on tight. <laughs> I just thought that the only three characters that were around you are the three. Like, the guy, the girl, and the girl. Later on, um, you meet a girl. Well. And that's the only- yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. The people are on fire. Well, A for observation. <laughs> she seems pretty scared. That's some convincing voice acting. Yeah. This is like a high quality before. game. Yeah. I would happily watch someone else play this game while I just watched. Yeah, because I think I, it, it works it's on its own as a, as a narrative. And that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. Well, yeah, that is true. Yeah, it's working. I really wanted to read what films were on. <laughs> and then they blew up the goddamn theater. Go! Where's... Uncharted was in the same universe, but it was just a movie in this universe. I could live with that. So there are like posters around for, uh, yeah. for like Drake's treasure pile. Nathan Drake <laughs> in. Yeah. Uncharted 3, Drake's treasure pile. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I never, I've never played any of those games either. I was very interested in both of them, or all three of them. I played the first two. How were they? They were great. The first one, you kind of get the feeling it's just a reskin Tomb Raider for a while. Yeah. Um, then it, it really picks up and sort of forms its own identity after a while. That's good. Did, yeah. Why didn't you put the second one if the first two are great? I mean, the third one. I can't do numbers I, today. Numbers are hard, man. Numbers I'm, are so hard. Yeah. Even just like the first three. Yeah, man. It's. <laughs> Funnily enough, once you get the first three down, the rest are easy. But yeah, yeah. So I wanted to look at the zombies, and I was like, "Oh man, look zombies!" And then they killed me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I died in the prologue. That's um, that's an achievement, I think. Well, you're distracted. I purposely wanted to see what they looked like. I was thinking, <laughs> this this all seems like plot relevant stuff. There's no way I'd die here, and I was wrong. <laughs> so I, I think fucking... I totally got at you. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's okay, baby. We're safe. We're safe. Hey, we need help. Stop! Please. No, it's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. I've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Daddy, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Listen, buddy, we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Oh, shit. What a dick. I know, right? What a big army dick. Damn. Please don't. Here comes your bro. Yeah. He has got your back. Yeah. Your bro just just killed a U.S. Army officer for you. Yeah. Hey, we don't know if he was an officer. Let's just pretend he was an officer so that the crime would be even bigger. That asshole. But he probably was not an officer. No. Man, I felt really bad at this part. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby. I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. Oh man, that's so sad. I know, yeah. I thought that was the girl that is in the game, for real. So did I. The governor has called a state of emergency. Nope. I mean, that's a late title card I can appreciate. That's effective. Yeah. 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 And you sound so sad, Mark. <laughs> this is a sad thing. Just <laughs> This game's upsetting. Yeah. Yep. I was like, fuck, man. They really yeah. set the tone hard. A group calling themselves the Fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. Their public charter calls for the return of all branches of government. Demonstrations broke out following the execution of six more alleged Fireflies. So, kind of what I picked up is that everywhere's under martial law, basically, and government's been suspended. Mm -hmm. Believe in the Fireflies. And there's no cure, basically. No, why would there be? This isn't uh, World War Z. That's true. Which I, I still haven't seen. Uh, it was pretty good. Yeah. It seems like the book would be a million times better and way, way different. Well, the book's not a narrative, is it? It's more a, it's a collection, collection of, of letters, fictional reports and letters. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Joel's seen some shit. I'm coming. Yeah. Did he go gray or is he dusty? No, he went great. This is 20 years later. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I missed that cue. How was your morning? He must have been really young then, because he still looks the same, just gray. No. no yeah. So I can't figure out if he was in his early 30s or late 20s. Probably. He probably looked shitty for late 20s, and now he looks good for late 40s. Because there's no way that guy's in his 50s. <laughs> yeah. We had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? Bear in mind, that all happened on his birthday as well. We, uh, Ugh. Oh, shit. Still has to watch them. Pills. Is that about right? <laughs> yeah. Deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here, and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Give me that. Are these assholes still with us? Well, that's funny. At least find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. It's been 20 years since the fall of humanity. Who's still it's brewing whiskey? I know where he's hiding. Dedicated individuals. <laughs> Old warehouse in Area 5. 
Can't say for how long, though. Well, I'm ready now, yeah? Oh, I can do now. Now, is the, is the idea that some people are immune to the zombie thing? No, no one's immune to it, as far as I'm aware. Okay. It's just people have luckily not been infected yet. Oh. So, the way it sort of pans out is that there are safe zones that are under military control. Um, and then there's the outside, which is just full of rogue zombies and all kinds of crap. Mm-hmm. They put a lot of effort into the graffiti, so I thought we should appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> no future, burn it down. That's some serious shit. Yeah. In context, it's probably not that bad when you think about what's happened. Yeah. Soldiers are supposed to handle the outside. Who's printing signs? What about you, Joel? You've been summoned for the um. Nope. It's how the whiskey yeah. brewers support their habit. Ah. It's all coming together. Yeah. They make their they make their dough by selling signs, and then they buy wheat with it. Is that what whiskey is? Barley and rye, isn't it? Barley and rye. From it's fermented something. It's certainly a liquid. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Ration line hasn't opened yet. Must be running low again. Uh, everything is kind of shitty. <laughs> this is largely what I imagine Detroit looks like. I've been there. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take me. Just be quiet. There are people taking people? Um, I think there's, there's kind of a totalitarian vibe going on, so if you speak out against the army, then they'll just arrest you. Sounds like probably not what they should be using their resources for. Almost certainly not, no. Go. Probably better if, like... There was a zombie outbreak, and the army was good people. I think they're doing the best in a bad situation. What's going on here? You found out, are you? I'm just gonna testing them, I guess. Yeah. Infection is. One of them is not gonna be clean for sure. No. I'm not infected. Oh, it's shit. wrong, Miss Hand. Hold her down. Please. Eyes forward. All right. She's down. Fuck this. I don't know why four hours is a good idea. Shut up. Yeah, that's a crazy guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I've, if I run, I'm definitely getting shot, and if I stay here, I've got basically 50 50 shot. What I want to know is, how did that building fall? This isn't a show. Keep how did what fall? Yes, sir. That building in the distance. They're on their way. Uh, I have no idea. Zombies pushed it. Those bastards. <laughs> yeah, I feel like 20 years of uh, not keeping up at a skyscraper would not cause it to fall. They seem like pretty sturdy things. See, that's what I was thinking. So some... Something must have happened. Oh, they were talking about firefly attacks. Maybe it was that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I feel like if they're scanning people to see if they they've been infected and then they're killing them before they've actually turned, that's a pretty shitty thing to do. They should probably have some sort of holding pen where they put pre-infecteds to well, make sure that they actually turn. They infect. Well, they injected that chick who was infected with something. Yeah, and then yeah. she died. No. Oh. Well, I don't know if she died. She convulsed and then stopped moving. True. But they did say they need a bag in a box. So. Hmm. Yeah. Should be a camera shake. 
Yeah. Is there infinite run? Can you just run forever? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, there isn't. There's no forever slides. <laughs> there's not none. Not at all. How are you gonna get under small barriers? I know, right? I was disappointed. <laughs> Some bullshit game. This man, I, I really hope you will get that reference. <laughs> Me? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> um. They're gonna close all the checkpoints. Shit, hold on. Have to go around the outside. If outside the wall. I, have, I was going to say something important about a video game, but now I can't remember. I'm just thinking about sliding. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> That's all right. I was there. I mean, sliding is pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. It's clear. I just used it. No patrols. And where are you off to? Sonic games got so insane for a while that if they didn't start getting better by colors and generations, like you could just replace the main character with a Sonic figure and it would like kind of make sense in the terms of the progression of those games. Mm -hmm. It's like the world is ending and everyone's a zombie and also you're Sonic. Go. <laughs> Does that mean that your daughter was Amy? Uh, yes. Nice. Which makes their whole relationship way creepier. But also I'm more readily able to accept her death. What do you make of that? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Do you have to find something before the fireflies do? What do you have to find? We're trying to find this guy called Robert. Hey guys. How's it going? Um, and Robert for, sucks. Yeah, for unspecified plot reasons, Robert's an asshole. No signs of military and he apparently stole all our guns, because we apparently had a lot of guns. That's that's good. Good for you yeah. for amassing all those guns. I know, right? Um, so, at this point... What seems to have happened is Joel and this test chick are smugglers, I think, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. um, and they went and did a like a pills drop or something. I'm going to guess it was medicine. And they basically sold them for ration cards. And then on Tess's way back, two guys jumped her and tried to kill her. So she killed them. Um, before they died, she found out they were working for this Robert guy. Sounds brutal. Yeah, man. The world has become a harsh, dystopian future. Mm -hmm. You in a sewer? Or something? Every game's got to have a sewer level. How did you So why? Well, wait, what's wrong with sewers? I mean, I know what's wrong with sewers, but what is very wrong with sewers? It's just they're not like interesting to look at. They're all the same. So when like, I, I mean, I say it anyway. I mean, they put one of them in the game. It's like, oh, you, you tried hard on this, you know? Yeah. So it's not fun to no, it looks it looks more like a basement. Yeah. True. Which might not be interesting to look at, but a super scary if it's a horror game. Mm-hmm. Like I'm scared of my own basement, let alone other people's basements. And yet you recorded <laughs> hours worth of video footage of you playing a horror game in a creepy old bomb. Yeah, it was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you saw the one where there was like some noise that wouldn't stop happening. It was genuinely freaking both of us out. <laughs> it was like there was there was this tapping noise coming from above us, and we had no idea what it was, and we couldn't identify it. And it was like really, really scary. We figured out eventually that it was a gigantic moth beating itself against a window trying to escape. <laughs> That's still pretty scary. Yeah, it was still pretty scary. I hate moths. Hey man, Moth was a monster for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yes, ma'am. That's like one of the two bugs I really hate, moths. What's the other one? Um, I can't remember. Oh, grasshoppers. You can't really hate them if you forget what they are? <laughs> no, 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 I just, I, because there's another bug that I kind of hate, but not, not as much as grasshoppers, which is the earwig. Yeah, they freak me out. Yeah, they're harmless, but they just like the, the name creepy. and the people used to think that they l hatched eggs in your ear and the weird fucking tail pinchers that they have. Ugh, your eggs suck. Grasshoppers are the worst, though. When am I not Plus, um... That a trick question? The Wrath of Khan didn't help. Never seen it. There's a bit where uh, Khan... I think it's the Wrath of Khan. But, uh... Sulu... Oh, no, was it? Like Chekhov. Gets uh, essentially a giant earwig. Um, put in his brain. Uh. And it crawls in through his ear. Yeah, it's, it's fucking horrible. That's awful. Yeah. 
So in the future, earwigs actually evolve to go in Where's people's the ears? Because they don't now. They evolve to become more menacing, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got it. Great, bring it over. So, like... Man, this game looks really good. That ladder, him yeah. carrying that ladder is very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was intrigued um, by the whole tutorial system that you unlock as you go, which is weird. Mm -hmm. But then I figured I had to try and put this, this ladder up at that window that we saw. And I'm like, well, how the, how the shit do I get back up? There's like a broken chimney and all this shit in the way. And then I realized there's a hole in the wall. Uh, and okay. I felt stupid. Um, so then I just put the ladder down. Nobody ever carried a ladder that way. That's not how you carry a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> you carry it on its side from the middle. Yeah. But if you do that, you'll, you're opening yourself <laughs> into all kinds of hijinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, but he's, he's not indoors. He's not going to, like, knock over a precious family painting. <laughs> Lady, you must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> it's all relative. This way. That's a misp ladder there, dear. <laughs> Down through here. I think Robert's still got our guns. For his sake, he better. Look, once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Well, we're meeting Bill next month. More pills, lots of ammo, supposedly. Hold up. Spores. Where are all these coming from? The place was clear last time. So there's these, like, spores things? Yeah. Basically, the, the zombie apocalypse all is kind of mushroom-based. That's strange. Yeah. There's our culprit. That is not that old. Ugh, huge rats. Keep your eyes and ears open. Yeah, huge rats. Not the, you know, fungus-ridden corpse there. No. And then she said, keep your eyes open. So I'm paranoid this guy's going to wake up and start clawing at me. Does that not happen? No. Okay. Yeah, because he looks, he looks dead past the point yeah. of zombification. Damn, falling apart. Be careful. I don't know what the zombie process is in this. I, it looks like you have this to way. still be alive to be a zombie. They don't look like living dead. They look like living infected. Easy. Yeah. <coughs> watch it, watch it. Help me. Yeah. My mask yeah, right. Don't, don't leave me to turn. <laughs> I'm not sure that we didn't do that to him. Poor bastard. Well, I mean, we shot him. But. Because when he moved that plank, a whole bunch of shit fell down? Yeah. <laughs> and I, so think, I think he might have been there already. Because he was like, know. my mask broke. That wasn't enough time to realize your mask broke. Maybe. And he never, like, screamed. Like, if something fell on you, you'd go like, Ah! Ah! Uh, something heavy is upon me! <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost in this building. That's fair. It's cloudy. They did a really good job of, like, just general set dressing, I, I feel. Yeah. This place is hella office. Yeah. What is that on the wall? That, like, viney shit. I think that's all the fungus. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Got some special color. I like how the, like, the world has gone to such shit that people have obviously been looting this place, but it's still just computers everywhere. Like, no one even took a computer, because why would you need a computer? Yeah. 
But if the world goes to shit, we can't do videos anymore. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the first thing you think of. So this is really the first time you actually encounter the, the zombie dudes. And you get there's a... I consider this to be a superpower. That is a superpower. Yeah. Yeah. It's like sonar. It's... I don't I feel like that's an accurate... Fig, you can f hear where people are. It's just way, way more accurate than it should be. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they were clouds of smoke that he was seeing, and each cloud of smoke represented a person, and it was kind of a general area. Hmm. So you're supposed to be, like, all super stealthy and shit? Mm-hmm. Uh, I ain't got time for that. Plus, I'm terrible at stealth games. <laughs> but you're, wasting, you're gonna waste ammo. Yeah, I realized that after I'd done this. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, you are the stupidest person. I know, I'm not. I never claim to be a smart man. That's true, you never said that. Let's head back into the city. I do claim to be a man, though. Let's just take that off the board altogether. Alright, good. So you're, you're a man. Intel, we're not going to even speculate on the intelligence. It's best we don't, I think. Okay. Um, so you're bad at... Th why are you bad at stealth games? I just get impatient. Okay. I'm like, you know, the sneaking around is great and all, but I could just shoot this guy in the face. So I often just choose to shoot guys I guess, in the but when you shoot a guy in the face in a stealth game, then that's one guy later that you can't shoot in the face. Yeah. But I want to shoot dudes in the face now. Yeah, I guess. He took off his mask maybe a little too soon. I thought that. <laughs> And that water is suspiciously yeah, green. Like, maybe wait until you're past the gates, at least. Well, I guess Bill to get you some of them air fresheners. Hey, if they weren't expired, that'd be a good idea. Did you say expired air fresheners? Yeah. I don't just run out. Like a bottle of Febreze can just expire? Like, it just smells like air eventually? I, I kind of figured that they meant, you know, like... <laughs> little Christmas tree you hang in your car. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But hey, I don't know, maybe Febreze just, just smell like air after a while. Maybe it eliminates its own odor. That'd be, that'd be insane. Yeah. What would be left? Plank fell down. Just, just, just pressure. <laughs> be a deer. I'm glad we talk about the deep philosophical issues. Yeah. <laughs> the Last of Us and no Febreze. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a future no one wants to live in. <laughs> this game has the best carrying animations. That's true. He does look really good when he's carrying it. He doesn't look like he's struggling. The wah he's dead, but he definitely looks like, oh, I'm holding something. Yeah. <laughs> He's a man who's confident in his ability to hold long and wieldy objects. Again, he should be carrying it horizontally, though. It's a bit heavy. Yeah. I think I can handle it. All right. I just feel like it's an easy way to like, you, regardless of whether you can do it, it's just easier. I think he used to be like a building contractor. So you'd think or he'd know sort. how to carry a fucking ladder. I think. <laughs> Planks of wood, especially. I also can't figure out how to get out of here for a while. Your ass up here. Let's move. Bossy today. And then she starts sassing me. Getting close. Climb up that drain pipe. It's a pipe. At no point in the game has it ever indicated to me that pipes are climbable. <laughs> well, that's a Kevin Orr here, I guess. Yeah, yeah. that was kind of like, uh, I feel dumb now. <laughs> that does not look sturdy enough. Yeah, I was thinking that I was going to cross it. I was like this is this is definitely going to snap, and I'm going to have to solo it for a while. But if you so if it snapped and you um, just fell down there, where would you go besides back up? Then you'd have to climb the pipe. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> If that would happen, you'd probably break the floor and you'd be in a basement. 
Oh god, and then I yeah. fall through that into the sewer. Yep. Sewer levels everywhere. <laughs> well, technically, sewers are everywhere. Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> Completely black room, that looks safe. It's cool, I can talk about flashlight. <laughs> that's a really effective flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> I like, uh... I like when games have good flashlights. It drives me crazy when, like, here's your flashlight. Press this button, turn on your flashlight, and then you turn it on, and it's like, this doesn't help me at all. I like it when the game gives you ubiquitous ammo. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, just ammo is just like, ah, oh, this is ammo. Yeah. Yeah. It, but hey, you got this, there's some ammo lying around for no reason in the apocalypse where it surely would have been taken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you don't know. Maybe that room was filled with ammo before. And they just, like, drop one box and they the just, Yeah, one, yeah. Robert it's, came. Having it just lying there in the like, well, past two probably spare and just having it in, finding it in a bin in, like, a, a living city. Yeah. Like, like in Bioshock. <laughs> Who's throwing away all these health potions? Yeah, that's pretty much, like, you just, you, you'll go up to a bin and you find a hot dog and you'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> or you, you find, you just find, like, 50 bucks in a trash can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was really excited to see dogs. I love dogs. Dogs are great. I love dogs. Yeah, I was like, what are those look at these fucking dogs. And then, I, <laughs> then I thought, these these dogs aren't for pets, are they? No. No. Yeah. Man, if you, every pretty much every game where you can have a dog that's your friend is a great game. Yeah. It's us. It's been a while. You don't visit us anymore. People ain't so friendly around these parts. No. I. Why do you walk between those guys and they're both staring at you holding baseball bats? <laughs> they're not there to play sports. <laughs> Joe obviously gives no fucks. Hurry up, we're starving. Keep your shirt on. Next batch. I really wanted to uh, make Joe eat some of that sweet hobo food. Fucking mm. mm. Hobo rats. Yeah, he and Tess look surprisingly well off compared to these people. Well, they make a, a living doing illicit trading. That's true. And at the start, she said like the job went off without a hitch, and we've got enough ration tokens to last for the month or something. Yeah. I guess it's kind of risk versus reward, ultimately. Mm -hmm. I've got to be honest, I was looking for people cooking dog to see if I was right. <laughs> oh, I, I, I assume those were guard dogs or attack dogs. I thought they were food dogs. God. Oh. This is probably no. not the best use of resources. <laughs> what pugilism? Uh, just like the like, if you're gonna if you're in an apocalyptic future and you could have to fend for your life at any moment, maybe don't be boxing for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wanted to get in. Yeah? Yeah, and just, you know, lay the smack down with Joe. Maybe add some sweet credits or whatever this game uses for currency. Ration cards. And then there's this guy just asleep next to some cards and candles. Yeah. It kind of looked like that was plot relevant, or at least something would happen. Nah, just a dude sleeping. Doing his thing. Yeah. What's that on the floor? A drafting notice. So remember this, the... Fuck this! <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck the machine. So, a little while ago you saw those two people talking about how they got drafted for outside duty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Greeting. As an able-bodied civilian, you are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> As a participant. Yeah. Anything that calls you a participant. Mmm, sketchy. If you have participated in work duties in the past six months and you get excused, what did what would that be for? Uh -huh. Like, if you're doing anything at all, you don't have to do this? I think it's if you've been drafted in the last six months and you don't have to get drafted again for another six months. Uh, okay. Yeah. But one of the things it said was, if you have a physical or mental disability, get a doctor's note and bring that. It's like, it's a god a doctor, apocalypse. Yeah. Where are you going to find a doctor? Hey, anybody. You can get anybody to sign a doctor's note. Yeah. Or maybe it has to be like an official army doctor where you see yeah, him maybe. and go like, I have a mental problem and he goes No you don't, you're in the army now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
everyone here has got a mental problem. This looks... It looks like um, you're going to have to fight these gentlemen. Yeah, it looks like an arena. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, raised high cover. I came into this area and thought, this doesn't look like a shootout area at all, does it? <laughs> The only thing that could have made it more obvious was a health pack and some ammo at the start. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. Tess is kind of a well, badass. Yeah, she just shot that guy right in the head. Yeah. That's one less for you to waste your ammo on. That's true. But as previously demonstrated, I am not a good shot. No. Although that's not the that's not the tightest reticle I've ever seen. Hmm. It's good enough. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like you're supposed to be using it very often. I totally showed. I got a headshot then. No, you did not. <laughs> you missed him. And then Tess just killed that dude and I was like, fuck yeah. Okay. Nice. Just gonna creep over. Did she call you Texas? Yeah, that's where you're from. Oh. I'm also gonna call you Boston from now on. That's obnoxious. <laughs> hey, Boston. <laughs> I don't... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Not sitting well with you? No? No. Hmm. Well, because the thing about Boston is that it's a nice city, but it's also the worst. So... <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No, cool. it's a nice city, but it's, like, filled with... Uh, like racists and homophobes and violence. So you're uh, saying it's a city? Yeah, yeah. I would say Boston's more racist than your average city, though. Mm. The only thing I know about Boston and Massachusetts is what Falling Skies has taught me, and that's that you're all plucky survivors. Um, <laughs> that is what that is what cable television would have you believe. That's really my only insight into the culture of there's, America. There's not a lot of pluck <laughs> if you've ever been to Boston. There's very little pluck. Over here, Joe. But a lot of surviving, right? A lot of surviving, yeah. Very few people die. That's good. Um, if you, Maybe if you go a little bit into the suburbs, uh, you get a lot more plucky survivors, but people in Boston are surly. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Let's spread out and make sure no one's So these two guys that just walked in are just kind of freaking out because they had Tess killed some dudes. So Tess yeah. goes off and, and almost kills the dude. And kills them. Yeah, she just knifes that guy. So. Man, she's way better at stealth <laughs> games than you are. Man, she, is, <laughs> she should definitely be the protagonist of this game. Do, 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 they establish do, um, do. pretty straight away, like, hey, you've got this person with you. You never ever have to protect them, and also they might even be more skilled than you are. Yeah, uh, which is good because that's like a worry with any game that you have a companion is like, oh, this, like, he or she might just die, and then that would that could ruin my whole yeah. level. Yeah, or they'll just like get stuck on geometry, and you have to figure out. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now I'm thinking, fuck yeah, stealth, and then that dude walks in, and I'm like, fuck no, stealth. <laughs> But then, you know, oh, once again, Tess, Tess wow, she that was awesome. Back. That was great. How come you have to strangle them and she gets to stab them in the throat? That doesn't seem fair. She's a, she's a level two survivor? Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you even have Is a she knife? still plucky? She's the pluckiest. Okay, good. But she's also surly. Yeah. This is a key? What? You can uh, look at A little bit. Is the other side <laughs> a key still? I don't know. It wouldn't let me rotate it. Oh. Uh, then why did it let you show show it so close up if you can't rotate it? Oh, maybe there's, like, you know, other keys in the game later on. Maybe it goes all Silent Hill and you have to get, like, the clock <laughs> key. Some shit. Ugh. Great. Um, Kyle won't shut up about wanting to do Silent Hill 3. Yeah, we were talking about that in the live stream. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he told me, he was like, we should have a, a Silent Hill 3 thing ready to go by Halloween. I was like, well, hey, whatever you want. Also, how's how's editing Mario coming? Yeah. You know, the whole third... Yeah, that guy saw me through the window. Didn't see that coming. Probably should have. Through the open window? Yeah, yeah. through the... Yeah. 
but but forgot where you were when you came in the room. <laughs> I ran out and tried to grab him. Uh, it didn't work. Oh, that guy grabbed you. It's alright, I've got Tess. She'll... She's just shooting like, right at you, though. The hand-hand yeah, hand combat is... looked really good. Yeah, it's, it's properly visceral. Mm. I'm just glad Tess isn't such a fuck-up like I am. <laughs> It's kind of like at this point that I'm Tessa's companion. You can you can arc ray, you can be able to stun some some dudes. So what is that bottle you, for? You, uh, drinking from? Really? No. It looks like he wants to throw it. He really, really does. <laughs> to arc for it. So I'm thinking I'll lure that guy over there and stab him in the back. Yeah. I'm so fucking tactical. That is pretty tactical. No, he saw you. Didn't, didn't work out that way. <laughs> so I just ended up punching the shit out of him. Well, I don't, I don't think you really long enough. <laughs> Did you even check to see if he was dead? No, fuck him. Tess is behind me. She'll sort it out. That girl's got some mad skills, yo. Is, what is that, a generator? It's like some kind of press, maybe? Printing press? That's where the sa the whiskey's made here. <laughs> In the printing press? Okay. Well, yeah, they make the signs and then sell them oh, for okay. whiskey money. Oh, yeah. I really like the fight in this game. Yeah, it looks That's awesome. Sick. Especially because you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, just bullets. Time to hide. They're pounding away in that guy's face. Nope. Oh. Ow. Jeez, oh, I shot yeah. you in the face. You're he dead. did a little bit. I'm down to two health sections. <laughs> One thing oh, this game does... Great. I know, yeah. The throat that noise. Surprising. Um, if you take damage in a cutscene, that damage is rendered in-game. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That is, that is cool. We I don't think you can die from cutscene damage. Slow us down. Yeah. But you can you'll die from cutscene in. damage? I don't think so. Oh, okay. That would, that would be the worst. <laughs> yeah, that's, so just, that would be you crazy. A, if you go into a cutscene of one health and then like, it auto saves just before a cutscene, cut scene. so you'd have to start the game over again just because you didn't have enough health. <laughs> yeah, like you finally terrible. get past a really difficult level and you're like, ah, yeah. finally, and then there's a cutscene and a zombie like kicks you and then you're, you die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you enter the cutscene fine and then the game kicks in and you die straight away. Son of a <laughs> He just crumbles. There's our boy. Does he look familiar to anyone else? A little yeah, bit. He looks like he looks like every douchebag that I've ever seen. Aside from that, <laughs> um, he looks a little bit like uh, uh, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. Really? Because I was gonna go with um, Thingy from Game of Thrones. Who? Oh. <laughs> the cell sword. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, he does look like that guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. It's like, oh, hold up. What's this? <laughs> What's that guy's name? Bron. Yeah, but the 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 actors. Oh, the actor. Um, Robson Green. Uh, um. He used to be a soldier. Like. There was Tell a point that. where I used to. Yeah. I would see all the stuff about um, Game of Thrones and how it was impossible to keep track of the characters' names. And mm -hmm. I was like, I got this. I know every character's name. And then at some <laughs> point, just like, they introduced like 30 fucking people. Yep. And I don't know anybody. I even forgot the names of the people that were the main characters. Well, there's, there's the red-headed Stark. I just, all I know is, all I know is Arya and Ned Stark. Those are the only two names that I know. And Joffrey. <laughs> Those are the three names. I forgot everything else. Oh, that dude's coming right at you. <laughs> yeah, he punches him. me. <laughs> no, not really. Look, uh, or did you just stealth? decide it wasn't worth getting up to block him? Look, stealth isn't my thing, okay? That, <laughs> that much should be evident by now. No, you haven't been doing too badly. Yeah, I made it, you know, 10 meters before I got so. <laughs> it's looking in the really wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> 
But this game isn't straight stealth. This is like no, yeah, it's an action like game you get that stealthy, leans but... on stealth. Yeah, this isn't oh, like is. a thief game. Man, they should make another thief game, but make it good. They are making another thief game. They're gonna make it good. I don't know. It's not good though. Thief Deadly Shadows is one of my favorite games. I'm gonna play it. Dude, comes out of nowhere. It's much better. He's much better stealth games than you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's running with a pipe. Yeah. He's... yeah, he's got the pipe now, bitch. You do. A brick. Oh, it's an axe handle. Where's the axe gone? Uh huh. Broke. Mm. Oh, hello, dude. <laughs> is I that a different worst. pistol? Because the radical <laughs> looks bigger. Maybe it's because maybe it changes slightly depending on how fast you're going. Yeah, maybe. That is not a door. <laughs> it looks like a door, but it, it, if it is a door, it's very pointless as there's a, there's a big hole in the wall right next to it. Yep. That office. Robert must have run in there. Let's go. That couch looks shifty. Get back! Get the fuck back! You just want to talk, Robert? We got fucking nothing to talk about! Put your gun down! Go fuck yourself! He's running! What an idiot. I'm gonna waste all my bullets and then throw my gun. So even if I find more bullets, I can't use them. <laughs> I'm really bad at this game, by the way. I get lost so quickly. <laughs> There's a door over there. There was a door in front of him. <laughs> he must have been running very slowly down the alley, though. No, I think he just decided to wait up for you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is like a level of incompetence that I've never seen. Even even Tess was telling me where to go, and I'm like, no, bitch, I, I got this. <laughs> oh god, doors, how do they work? My name oh, is Rob, Joel. What is the difference between a door and a wall? <laughs> no, seriously, what's the difference? Sorry, I, I, I got it this Good, time. Let, let her go first, because yeah, that's kind of what I did. No, 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 nope, nope, no, not that way, Joel. <laughs> yeah, you remember. That little, that little backwards one is pretty, pretty cool. How'd he get rid of the first time if he, well, hello, if that's not open? <laughs> Shh, <Yes>. quiet. <laughs> Video <laughs> games. <laughs> no hope here, right? None at all. Alright. Ow. We missed you. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I, I just want to say... Guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? This whole time I was just thinking, bronze better than this. <laughs> it's complicated. Right. Yeah, he's got a heart. All right, just hear me out on this. I got oh, a Fuck. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold him. Look how good that looks. It's really good. Pretty good. Yeah. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. That's the first convincing beard I've seen in a game, I think. I rate games based on the beard convincing this level. Did you? Yeah. No, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fuck Did you never become a tier one operator in Medal of Honor? I didn't think they were too convincing. Wait, who's not too convincing? The beards. We're talking about beards. Oh, uh, okay. Just give me a couple of who has our guns? Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> yeah, well, he's been beat to shit. I owe the fireflies. That's true. What? Look, they're basically all dead. We, we can just just go in there, finish them off. We get the guns. What do you say? Come on, yeah, fuck those fireflies. Just go get them. That is a stupid idea. <laughs> Fuck me, Tess. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Well, no. She did shoot twice, which I don't think was a smart idea. We go get our merchandise. No, he always got a double tap. Okay, zombies get, get, get back up. Explain it to them. It's like second rule. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's go find a fire. First, first rule, cardio. We won't have to look yep. very far. There you go. 
Queen Firefly. Why are you here? Business. You are looking so hot. Now is not the time to flirt, Tess. Robert. <laughs> Shit's gone now. What was that little arm move? She was presenting Robert's dead body. <laughs> Ta-da! I shot him. They weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. So you're gonna work for the Fireflies? Looks that way, doesn't it? How many cards are we talking about? I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that? I'll give you your guns back. Then some. Then some? That sounds overly generous. Well, I hear the military's been wiping you guys out. All right, where's the kill of Holly, Joe? Right about that. I'll show you the weapons. Search the area. Yes, sir. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. So yeah, that was uh, that was the Last of Us. That's a pretty good place to stop. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Except that, uh, like, I would like to see more of the game. I wanna see those guns. I wanna see those <laughs> guns. Then you, my friends, should purchase a PS3 and a copy of The Last of Us. Uh, I'd, also, I'd also need a TV, so that's probably not going to happen. You don't have a TV? I don't, I don't have a TV. Does something happen to your TV, or have you never had a TV? Uh, I, I started uni like a year ago, and I just didn't get a TV at the time, because I didn't need one, and that's right. I still don't have one. So. Oh, I guess, I guess it makes sense that you don't have a TV if you've got yeah. a computer. I don't know why yeah. you wouldn't. I, I don't know why you would have a TV if you have a computer at this point. Yeah. Um, you could play a PS3 on a monitor. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I play my Xbox on my monitor. Does that, does that work good? Yeah, it works pretty well. I got a, I have a VGA thing that I plug it in oh, the back. Because yeah. I've got one of the older Xbox that doesn't even have an HDMI port. Alright. Yeah. I'm also not gonna, I haven't got any money either, so I'm probably not going to... Oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't have that either. It. Yeah. <laughs> it probably helps if you, if you had money or if you already had... A PS3, but yeah, you know, you know, did, if you did, get off your ass and come down, you could just, you know, one, get that TV. I'm gonna give you. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And you could just play the fucking game. Yep, I could. Yeah. 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 Um, did we did we do like an intro or did we just start? No, we just kind of start. Have, okay. you, have you been watching like XCOM LP? We never do an intro. I, I I I got to watch the first one yesterday. Right. But. Oh, you haven't even seen you yet. No. no. <laughs> we did uh, We did an intro for the bonus multiplayer episode, but even then, Chris was just like, I'll just go. So I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, fuck it, yeah. During oh, multiplayer, whatever. I guess it's a natural start. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, I just kind of get a bit weirded out by going, hi, my name's Chris McHale, and this is Mark Wesley. And well, that's, why, that's why Kyle does it, because I don't want to do that. Yeah, it just feels weird to me. I'd rather just talk. It's easier to say A and Keith and I'm Keith than it is to start it. So I just let Kyle do it and then I can then I can just tag on at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So if you could get if you get someone else to, to start it for you, then you could do it. Yeah, oh we could just not bother. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's working for you, it's working for you. Well, well I don't know. I wouldn't say it's working for us, but Yeah. I remember um there was some point when I was, like, years ago when we were doing Complex Rockets with Kyle that we got, like, two emails saying, because we weren't doing intros, we mm -hmm. got two emails being like, what are your names? <laughs> 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 like, who, who are you people? <laughs> That's good. Cool. Yep. Well, I suppose yeah. that, uh, that brings us to a, to a close, I guess. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.